shall not pass. Team Ninja did a fantastic job of porting the first Ninja Guy and Sigma over to the PlayStation Vita and managed to make it run at a playable 30 frames per second. Unfortunately, Ninja Guy and Sigma 2 doesn't fare as well on the PlayStation Vita. It suffers from slowdown, technical issues, and some features have also been removed. <laughs> the story in this game is just as confusing as puberty itself. Supposedly, the Black Ninja Clan is trying to resurrect the Arch Fiend, and some busty secret agent tells good old Ryu Hayabusa to stop them. It might sound like a straightforward setup at first, however the game will make your head spin by introducing new characters and changing the location without any explanation. To make things worse, they removed the Japanese voice track forcing us to endure that really bad English dub. Although technically it can be so bad it's good. Now before we tackle the pink elephant in the room, let's get one thing straight. Ninja Gaiden 2 is a fantastic game. In fact, it's one of the best hack and slash games money can buy assuming you ignore the terrible storytelling. The combat is fast, deep, and extremely challenging. The variety of locations is also amazing. One moment you're on a Colosseum, next minute you're high in the air on a warship and fighting a giant boss on the South Pole. Speaking of bosses, this game has so many of them, you quickly lose count. <laughs> Unfortunately, the Vita version is not a good port. The first problem is the frame rate never stays consistent. You can improve it by going into the options menu and switching off the gore and adjusting the camera speed to the max. However, it still goes all over the place. Half the time it's a playable 30 frames per second, while the other half it can drop as low as 10 frames per second. I'm not even kidding, just Look at the footage, look at it! To add insult to injury, the resolution also never stays consistent. Sometimes it's really sharp, other times it's like you're playing an old PSP game. <laughs> the story mode is actually really long, it clocks in at around 10 to 12 hours. Unfortunately, there's no new game plus mode, but you can revisit any chapter in the challenge mode. This version introduces two brand new modes, Ninja Race and Turbo, both of which require the player to quickly kill his foes and keep the timer from reaching zero. It's pretty meh if you want my honest opinion. Team Missions has been replaced with Tag Missions, since there aren't any online features in this version of Ninja Gaiden 2. So that means no online leaderboards, no replay sharing, or two-player co-op. This makes it impossible to complete all the missions, since the AI-controlled partner is completely useless. Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2 Plus no doubt has all the right ingredients for a great action game. Huh, <sighs> but alas, the frame rate problems and missing features makes it difficult to give it a glowing recommendation. And that's why I'm giving it a rating of 6 out of 10. Ninja Gaiden was filmed in front of a large studio audience. <laughs> 